In this segment of the demonstration, we're going to take a look at how finance functionality, such as the organizational management system, the closing cockpit, and the cost and revenue work center features deliver transparency, efficiency, and adaptability. Transparency to provide quicker information and more accurate information to support business decisions to improve profitability and from an efficiency and adaptability perspective provide support for a foundation for future growth. Let's take a look at the software. I'm signed in as Iris Green in the finance department. Iris is on her home page and she has her most important built-in analytic on her home page. She chose this from over 150 embedded analytics that come out of the box with By Design. We're going to start with the organizational management capabilities within By Design. This interactive organizational charting capability allows us to see a complete view of your organization. So after we expand all, we see the holding company, and then we see Almica as a company underneath that, and then we see some divisions. We're going to scroll down and move across in the organization and take a look at uh, Almica Pro Canton. So in this particular division, as we come down to the bottom, of this organization. We see the definitions here for who the manager is. In definitions, we see some flags here for segment, profit center, and cost center. By simply checking these boxes, you are defining some of the standard financial report roll-up capabilities within the system. And then as we select a particular division and then as we select a particular organization underneath that and take a look at the functions, we can see the capabilities that that individual organization has underneath it. These functions drive the suggestions for the work centers for the role-based security that the individual employees that are associated to that organization have available to them. So this drives and supports the corporate governance that's built into Business by Design. And you'll notice that this all has an effective date on it. It's very common for organizations to make changes in their organization structure. With By Design, you can plan for those changes, define them within the system, and when that date arrives, then the system will automatically switch over and start using the new organization structure. This organization management system actually drives a lot of the things that most systems put into multiple segments in the chart of accounts, and then they have to go define a whole bunch of accounts and maintain all those accounts. We have simplified that process significantly in the By Design system by uh, working with what we call a natural account. Let's take a look at that in a journal entry perspective and we're going to take a particular journal entry from today and view that journal entry and take a look at the debits and credits and you'll see that we have a natural account for the debits and credits to to work against as opposed to multiple segments against that we then use the that organizational management to help us to do those roll-ups and you'll also notice that we've got item details in here so that we can do analysis by a variety of characteristics depending upon the journal entry that's being made. So in this example, we could do detailed analysis uh, against the general ledger journal transactions by the business partner or uh, vendor, if you would. 
Now while we're on this journal entry, I'd like to highlight the fact that we're looking at multiple sets of books. This particular journal entry goes into the IFRS set of books, but we have a simultaneous entry going into the US GAAP set of books. And by design supports both sets of books simultaneously. You'll also notice that this is going against a particular company. By design is engineered from the ground up to be a multiple company system. It's also engineered to work in an international environment with multiple currencies and language translations. While we're on this journal entry, I'd like to point out one of the transparency features of the system called document flow. So from a journal entry, where we see the set of books uh, entry uh, for these multiple sets of books, and we see that against a supplier invoice, I'm going to change my perspective here and drill back and take a look at this supplier invoice and see that this invoice uh, came from a recurring supplier invoice. I'm going to drill back again and take a look at the perspective from the recurring supplier invoice so that we can see the going the other direction all of the invoices that were generated off of that recurring entry. The important aspect here is the complete transparency of all transactions within the by design system so that if you're in the general ledger you can drill back to the source and if you're working on any transaction you can go over to the general ledger and see the journal entries. So it's a bi-directional view of anything that goes on in the system for a complete audit trail. While we're here in the general ledger, let's take just a minute to take a look at the closing cockpit. And let's edit one of these closing cockpits for a period. The closing cockpit is a terrific tool to help reduce the number of days it takes to close the books. This is a built-in small project management system, if you will, that has uh, the particular tasks for performing closing. And then within that, we've got the dependencies and the identification as to whether it's possible for you to execute these tasks at this point in time. And then we couple that with the ability for you to, while you're within the closing cockpit, Go ahead and initiate the activity that you need to execute from within the cockpit so that you do not have to navigate over there on your own and perform that type of an activity. So here I jumped immediately over to open and close periods. I can close this function after executing the task and go right back into the closing cockpit and if I wanted to, I could come down and execute perhaps some of these other functions out of order as long as, as I see that I have cleared all the prerequisites. This one has an example of the execution is not possible, but I can display the prerequisites so that I can identify what are the tasks that I need to make sure that I get accomplished in, in closing uh, before I can execute this task. And then we've got over on the far right-hand side who is responsible for performing those tasks. Again, the primary benefit of the closing cockpit is that this improves the efficiency of the closing process and helps you to close the books much quicker. And of course, the big benefit from that is the fact that the executives get the information that they need for managing the business much quicker. So now let's move on. Now the by design system also has a built-in fixed assets management system. So you do not have to go out and buy an external fixed asset system and bring that in and try to incorporate that in as well. So you'll see that we've uh, got the actually the ability to integrate this in with purchasing. So when you buy an asset, it brings the basic information from purchasing over and puts it into assets so that you can then generate all the other information that you need so that you can do your depreciation on a regular schedule and, and so forth. As we move across here, we see liquidity management. 
and I'm going to just move down and take a look at a liquidity forecast because we do have both the accounts receivable and the accounts payable in the system so that you could look at them individually but in the liquidity management we can see a liquidity forecast and you can run as many of these forecasts as you would like where you see the opening balance, any payments, receivables, the net flows, the closing balance and going across the page here we see this, inf this summary level information on a daily basis so this gives you a very good picture of your cash position and we include functionality in this forecasting to allow you to put manual entries in for uh, things that might not fall into the receivables and payables so that you can have a, a complete picture of what your cash position will be. Then over in the cost and revenue, I'd like to highlight the, the planning features that we have within the system. And this is an example of our tight integration with Excel. So you can have uh, as many plans and versions as you need to from a budgeting perspective. I've simply asked the system to open up the Excel spreadsheet where we're doing our budget for this income statement. And you'll see that the by design system has extracted the information out and moved it down to Excel for us so that we can manip manipulate it from here. And very important, by design has built in an Excel plugin. So here's the SAP Business by Design plugin. And we had to log into the system uh, from within Excel. So you saw me do a, a login real quick. And, and then while you're in Excel, you could go ahead and do your manual manipulations, but we also have uh, tools that aid you in that. So, for example, on the planning side of the house, uh, once you select a particular set of cells that you would like to distribute equally or reevaluate or uh, do some percentage up and down, uh, then the system would uh, help you to do those recalculations. Once you've got the calculations the way you want, then you go ahead and save this information back up into By Design. It imports that data back to the ledger so that you can do your reporting uh, against your budgets the way that you'd like to. So then as we take a look at other functionality in the cost and revenue system, we see that you can establish the resource cost rates for resources that are going to be charged over to projects. You see overhead absorption rules and revenue recognition rules within the system. So this has been just a, a real quick review of, of accounting. Let's come back and summarize. So in this finance segment, we saw how features such as the organizational management system the closing cockpit, the drill back from journal entries back into the source entries, and the cost and revenue uh, capabilities and features in the system support transparency, efficiency, and adaptability. These in turn improve profitability because you have better information and more accurate information to make better uh, business decisions. And from an efficiency and adaptability perspective, we support this as a foundation for growth.